Hi guys, um, I'm going to introduce about my friend Twine, but before let me introduce myself. I'm Irene Twine. I um, newly joined the Instruments Without Border, and um, I'm a French horn player. So this is my friend Twine. It's a gold color. It's not real gold though, and it has four finger buttons. But some of the French horn has only three, which means that the first finger button, let's call it this one, this first finger button is pressed already, like automatically. So don't really care about the French, like F and the B flat part. But let's introduce it because some of the French horn has four finger buttons. Um, so if we press this first finger button, it means that it, the French horn becomes an F French horn. So if we make a do sound, it means that it's an F sound in a real piano. And if we release it, it means that it is a B flat instrument. So it's similar to a clarinet or trumpet or whatever. And yeah, I would recommend pressing this because we learned how to press it. And if we don't press it, it's like making a closed sound rather than an open sound. So try to press it rather than releasing it. And then this is a mouthpiece where we make an actual sound. If we make an M on our lips, M, the two lips cl are closed and it can vibrate with each other. So we can make a sound by the vibration between the two lips. So like, like this. But if you can't make a sound in the mouthpiece for the first um, try, then try to make a sound for the four, like whole French horn first because this is way much easier than making a sound in the mouthpiece. And um, I'm going to introduce about C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C of this French horn first, and then I'm going to introduce one by one, like how to how we make a C, how we make a D, and so on and so forth. <laughs> Is how we make a CD of JBC, but let me introduce one by one. So first about C, um, press this first finger button if you have it. If you don't, just don't press anything and just just make a sound. This finger button has two sounds: first F, second C. Um, if you want to make a C, try to release your lips a bit more than F. It's it's hard, I know, but try to open your lips more like like this rather than like this okay okay so like like this and the second one d um you press the first two finger buttons um it actually has two sounds are uh, again first is d and second is a um, if you want to make an A, just tighten your lips. If you want to make a D, just release your lips a bit more. But don't release it more than a C because it has to be tightened than a C in order to make a D. Unless it will make a lower A than a D. Um. This is how me sounds. And also that has two sounds. First, me and E and second B, which means it's basically the same, but um, release and tighten your lips, your lips and the airspeed of your sound can control the overall sound of me and T. And then the second one, I already introduced it. And then this, actually has three sounds, including the flat, but ignore the flat for now and just think about so and G. This is how French horn sounds like. Oh, and try to put your um, right hand inside your French horn rather than just opening the French horn and like holding like this. It's way much easier to make a sound and the sounds are more beautiful when you put your um, right hand inside your French horn. Um, thank you. This is the end of the first class.